Hello, subscribers and trial subscribers. Welcome to the Wealthy Trades Weekly Options Alerts. This is Tyson Clayton. Let's get rolling right away. I'm going to post this in the premium section on the website. The premium section, you go to the resource tab, and it's uh, for subscribers, paying subscribers. Uh, you have access to a premium tab non-paying subscribers okay so if your trial has expired you will only see videos and podcast you will not see this premium tab but paying and trial subscribers currently in their 14 days can click on premium and this is where I'm gonna be posting my earnings alert videos all right I'll be sending out emails on those too and my options my weekly options uh, select options alerts videos in this section for paying or trial members only okay let's uh, let's get rolling though here's what we're gonna do all right uh, what I want to do is I want to look at these on a weekly basis okay so I'm gonna talk about Priceline first and foremost Priceline this is probably one of my favorite trades for this week and what what I'm planning on doing is this so Priceline is in an uptrend okay we look at the chart here we can see it is clearly in an uptrend. It's looking to break out of this area on the upside. Well, the weekly level, okay, so let's look at the weekly level here. The weekly level uh, on the upside is 1263.22. It closed last week at 1233.09. So here's the way that I'm going to play this. I'm going to play it with options, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go long, all right? It's in, in an uptrend. It closed at 1233.09. We know that, okay? So I'm talking about price line here. The trend side level is 1263.23. Well, I want to look at the at the money option, which is the 1232.50. All right, I want to look at the at the money option, and um, if it if the at the money option hits the expected upside this week, which is 1263.23. So if if I buy the 1232.50 and it rallies up and hits the ex expected upside, that call will be worth thirty dollars and seventy three cents. Okay, hopefully everybody follows me. So I buy the the 1232.50. Uh, for however much it is, it rallies up and hits 1263.23. Well, now that call is worth $30.73. Well, that's all good and great, but I got to figure out how often it hits that. And what I know is Priceline has a tendency of hitting it 51.9% of the time, so pretty high. Well, if that's the case, then the call should be worth $15.95, but here's the deal. I can pick it up right now. I think I can get it for about $13. And I want to get this, I want to buy the 1232.50. Priceline call, so Priceline, I'm going to buy the 12 3250 call, all right, I'm going to type this in, call, for $13 or less, okay, that is my trade in Priceline, all right, the reason why is because if it, it has a 51% chance, almost a 52% chance of hitting the upside high of 1263.23, if it does, my call is going to be worth $30.73, that's a great trade, so my target is going to be $30.73. So I'm going to buy the 1232.50 call for 13 or less with a target of 3073. I'm willing to risk the whole thing. Okay? I'm willing to risk the entire trade. Same with HPQ, all right? HPQ, let's look at that one. Um Hewlett Packard. All right, so HPQ closed at 3326. Okay, it's got an expected high of 34.23. We can look at the charts. It looks like it's kind of bottoming out and I'm going to try to rally here. So it's got an expected high of 34.23. So how are we playing this one? Well, HPQ, give me a second here. For HPQ, what I want to do is I want to buy, it closed, again, it closed at 33.26. It's got an expected high of 34.23. So what do we do? Well, I can look at the at the money call which is the 3350s. I want to buy the 3350 calls. All right. Call for if if I do the math here, if my 3350 call rallies up and we let's say we rally and we hit the expected high of 3423, well that call will be worth 73 cents. Well, how often does that happen? Well, it happens 46.2% of the time. So pretty high. Well, if that's the case, it should be worth 34 cents, but I think I can buy it for 24 cents. So I want to buy that for 24 cents or less, okay? So I want to buy the 3350 call for 24 cents or less, and my target is going to be 73 cents. Why is it 73 cents? Well, because if I buy the 3350 and it hits the expected upside, it's, it'll be worth 30 uh, 73 cents, and I've got a 46% probability, probability of that happening. So my target is going to be 73 cents. So again, HPQ, I want to buy. I'm going to put an order in to buy right away at, at the open uh, today. 
uh, buy the 33.50 call for 24 cents or less, my target's going to be 73 cents. I'm willing to risk the entire trade. These are trades that I'm willing to risk everything in, all right? Uh, meaning everything I put in the trade. So I'm willing to risk the 24 cents, right, to to make the 73 cents. Or to put it another way, I'm willing to risk the 24 cents, right, to make essentially make my, you know, I'm risking I'm risking uh, my target's 73 cents, but I'm getting in for 23. So I'm risking se uh, 24 cents to make 49 cents. That's a great trade. On on Priceline, I'm risking 13 to make 17.73. That's a great trade. I'm going to do the same type of trade on Amgen, okay? So Amgen, let's look at Amgen. I'll recap these uh, when I'm done, too. I know I'm going kind of quick. But on Amgen, Amgen has an expected high this week of 172.06. Hits that level. It closed at 167.90. Hits that level 48.1% uh, of the time. Okay, so Amgen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the at-the-money call. All right, these are undervalued calls. The at-the-money call is the 167.50. I'm going to buy the 167.50 call. And here's the thing. If Amgen rallies up and hits the expected high of 172.06, that call, that 167.50 call, will be worth $4.56. Okay, okay. I get that number by taking the expected high minus the at-the-money call. All right, $4.56 is what it's going to be worth. Hits that 48.1% of the time. That means that it should be trading at 219. I'm going to try to get in at a buck 80. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy for a dollar 80 or less. My target on this is going to be the expected high because if 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 I buy the 167.50, I want it to rally up and hit 172.06. So my target's going to be four dollars, four dollars and 56 cents. So again, on this trade. What I'm doing, my target's four dollars and fifty-six cents. I want to get in for a buck eighty, so I'm risking a buck eighty to make two dollars and seventy-six cents, and I've got a forty-eight percent probability of doing that. So those are my my straight long calls. And the reason why I'm doing straight long calls is because we are in an uptrend this week, so I'm I'm comfortable, and I've got two tech plays and a healthcare play, so I'm good with that. But we are in an uptrend, so I'm I'm comfortable with doing that, and so Priceline. Well, let, let's go over the spreads first. Um, for CMG, I'm going to do something slightly different. CMG is in an uptrend, and but here's the thing: I priced out the options, and I realized that the options are fairly uh, are actually kind of expensive. And part of the reason is because it had earnings last week, and and it moved quite a bit, right? Well, here's the thing: it's still in an uptrend, even though it sold off. It only has 11% probability. The expected downside is. 623 or, or 9 I mean it only has an 11% probability of closing below that historically so here's what I want to do okay I want to use that very low probability of closing below that and I want to do a credit spread below that so I'm gonna do a bull what's called a bull put spread I'm gonna sell the 622.50 and then buy the 620 put put and I'm going to collect okay so that's a bull put spread so I'm selling the 622.50 which is below my expected low the expected low this week is 623.09 only has 11.5 percent probability of closing below that so I'm going to do this bull put spread this two dollar and fifty cent bull put spread all right sell the 622.50 buy the 620 and I'm going to collect a minimum of 45 cents so collect 45 cents or more because it's a credit spread. That means I get that 45 cents into my account. All right. I, there is no target. This is this is a, a all or nothing trade. So I'm willing to risk the entire trade. But here's the deal. I've got a, a 88.5% chance because it only closes above the. I have an 88.5% chance. So let's do the math on this. So out of 100 trades, let's follow me here. I have an 88.5% chance of, of making money on this trade. Why do I know that? Well, because, again, it only closes below the expected low, which is one, uh, 623.09, 11.5% of the time. So I have an 88.5% chance of making 45 cents. Okay? So that'd be 39.82. Well, let's just hypothetically say, and this is kind of unrealistic, but let's say that on my losing trades, I lose the entire, other, the, the max amount. My max loss would be, Two dollars and five cents. 
all right, because it's a $2.50 spread minus my credit, $2.05. If I lose the entire trade, I'm going to lose that 11.5% of the time. That's $23.50. Remember, I made almost $40 on the on my wins. I only lose $23.50 on my losses. This is a great trade. So I'm going to do the $6.22.50. I'm going to sell the 622.50 put. I'm going to buy the 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 6. So let me just put it this way. So it makes a little more sense here. So I'm going to sell the 622.50 put. I'm going to buy the 620 put. I'm going to collect a minimum of 45 cents. I'm going to hold it. I have no stop. I'm willing to risk the entire uh, 205 of the trade because I have such a high probability in this trade. Do the same thing in Regeneron. All right, Regeneron. All right, let's look at Regeneron. And I know these are a little, a little complex. Well, that's the reason why you gotta make sure you subscribe, get access to this information. Um, I'm gonna actually send this out to everybody because I want people to learn these strategies. These are gonna be highlighted, aggressively highlighted, in our options course that I'm working on. But anyway, Regeneron only has a 13.5% chance of it's in an uptrend. Expect the downside is 466. It only has a 13.5% probability of hitting that. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to sell, I'm going to do a bull put spread, so the expected low is 466, that's the expected low on Regeneron, well I'm going to do the 465 by 462 bull put spread, so I'm going to sell the 465 put, put, and I'm going to buy the 462.50 put, creating that spread, and I'm going to collect, I want to collect 50 cents or more on this trade okay so the expected low is 466 well I want to get below that it only has a 13.5 percent probability that means I have an 86.5 percent probability of making money in this trade and I want to collect I want to do the 46 sell the 465 put buy the 462.50 put collect 50 cents so let's do the math on that I've got an 86.5 percent probability because of, of it closing, of it staying above this. And remember, on a bull put spread, like on, on Chipotle, um, if price is above 622, I don't care if it's at 622.51. If it's above 622.50 on Friday, I make this 45 cents. Okay? Same thing on here, Regeneron. If it's above 465, I make this 50 cents. I've got an 86% probability of making 50 cents on this trade. Okay? So that's 43.25. Well, that means that I have a 13.5% chance of losing the $2. So I make $43.50. I'm risking $27. I want to take that trade every single time. That is a great trade. High probability trades. So let's recap. On Priceline, I'm going to buy the 12.32 call, just the straight call, this week's call, for $13 or less with a target of $30.73. For uh, HPQ, I'm going to buy the 33.50 call for 24 cents or less, target of 73. For Amgen, I'm going to buy the 167.50 call for a dollar 80 or less with a target of four dollars and 56 cents. Those are my straight long calls. Uh, very simple. Buy the at the money calls, target these levels, and then for Chipotle, I'm going to do a bull put spread. I'm going to sell the 622.50. At the same time, I'm going to buy the 620. To create that bull put spread, and I'm going to collect a minimum of 45 cents. Regeneron, I'm going to do a bull put spread at the same time. I'm going to sell the 465 put, and I'm going to buy the 462.50 put. Collect a minimum of 50 cents at the same time. Collect a minimum of 50 cents. Those are my trades. I'm going to put these trades on. If they hit, or if they if if I get filled, I'm going to hold them all week long with those targets. With the bull put spreads, I'm gonna if I get filled, I'm gonna hold them all week long. I don't after I get filled in these. Once I have my targets, all right, in the calls, I put my targets in. I get filled, I put my target in. I'm done. I don't do anything else. The trade either works or it doesn't. It works, you know. I just it's they, they are truly set and forget trades. I get filled in these. I put my targets in. I'm done for the week. For these ones, I get filled in them. I'm done. I just let them do what they're gonna do. It's probability trading at its finest. These are our options trades. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for your time. This will be posted in the premium section.